Cervical spondylosis. Sounds complex, but it's simply age-related wear and tear in your neck. Your neck is made of seven vertebrae, cushioned by discs that act as shock absorbers. Over time, these discs dry out and shrink, and the bones may develop extra growths called bone spurs. This process is similar to arthritis, but it's specific to the neck. Most people over 60 have some signs of cervical spondylosis, even if they don't feel any pain. The real issue starts when these changes compress nerves or the spinal cord, causing pain and stiffness. But having cervical spondylosis doesn't mean you're doomed to a life of pain. It's a normal part of aging, like getting wrinkles or gray hair. The key is managing symptoms and maintaining a good quality of life. Remember, it develops slowly over years, not overnight. Understanding this helps you take control and manage the condition effectively. With the right approach, you can stay active and comfortable. Let's explore what causes it and how you can protect your neck. Aging is the main cause of cervical spondylosis. Discs dry out, shrink, and lose cushioning. Jobs with repetitive neck movements or poor posture like desk work or carrying heavy loads speed up the process. Tech neck from hours at computers is a growing problem, especially in urban India. Genetics also play a role. If your family has spine issues, your risk is higher. Previous neck injuries, even old ones, can make you more susceptible. Smoking reduces blood flow to discs, accelerating degeneration. Lack of exercise and being overweight put extra strain on your neck. Weak neck muscles from a sedentary lifestyle can't support the spine well. The good news? Many risk factors are within your control. Small lifestyle changes can help protect your neck and slow down degeneration. Next, let's look at how to spot the symptoms early. The most common sign is neck pain and stiffness, often worse in the morning or after inactivity. You might hear grinding or popping when you turn your head. If nerves are pinched, pain can shoot down your shoulder, arm, or fingers, sometimes with numbness or tingling. Everyday tasks like typing or buttoning a shirt may become difficult. In severe cases, spinal cord compression can cause balance problems, clumsiness, or even trouble walking. Weakness in the legs or loss of bladder control are red flags. Seek medical help immediately. Headaches starting at the back of the head and radiating forward are also common. These symptoms can disrupt work, sleep, and daily life. Don't ignore persistent neck pain or unusual sensations. Early recognition means better management. If you notice these signs, consult a doctor. Now let's see how doctors diagnose the condition. Diagnosis starts with a physical exam. Your doctor checks neck movement, pain points, and nerve function. They'll ask about your symptoms job and any past injuries. Simple tests assess reflexes, muscle strength, and sensation. X-rays reveal bone changes and bone spurs. If nerve compression is suspected, an MRI gives a detailed look at discs and nerves. Sometimes a CT scan or nerve tests like EMG are used for more information. These tools help pinpoint the cause of your symptoms. Accurate diagnosis guides the best treatment plan. So, what are your options for managing cervical spondylosis? Most people manage cervical spondylosis with non-surgical treatments. Physical therapy is key. Exercises strengthen neck and shoulder muscles, improving support and reducing pain. Heat, ice, and gentle stretching can ease stiffness. Over-the-counter pain relievers like paracetamol or ibuprofen help with mild pain. Severe cases may need prescription medications or steroid injections for short-term relief. Good posture, supportive pillows, and regular gentle exercise make a big difference. Surgery is rare, reserved for severe nerve or spinal cord compression when other treatments fail. The goal is to relieve pressure and restore function, but surgery has risks. Most people improve with conservative care and lifestyle changes. Stay proactive. Small steps can keep your neck healthy and pain-free. With the right approach, you can live well with cervical spondylosis.